Hello, thank you for watching Adventures in Pop-Ups. I'm Rachel, this is Blake. Welcome to day 11 of our epic adventure out west. We welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. We are in the Rocky Mountain National Forest, right there. We were there. It was awesome. So, what did we do first? We woke up, praise the Lord, thank you God for a new day as joy cometh in the morning. And I think some kids were probably hungry. I usually am. Made some coffee. Did you make coffee? Probably. She usually does. She usually do. I love her. Anyways, um, yeah. I think we started out pretty quick uh, to the day, but not too quick. Maybe like 8.30, 9 o'clock we started well, driving to where we wanted to go. The, the neighbors gave us some extra firewood because they were leaving. So they did. Thank you. So we had a fire in the morning just for fun. Take the chill off the air mountain air and we just chilled out for a little bit but yeah we got going by mm -hmm. probably nine eight thirty nine mm -hmm. yeah we we're really excited to get up to the tundra and visit the is it alpine visitor center yes the alpine visitor center uh there was a sighting right before we got there we didn't see them uh a bighorn sheep so apparently they're hiding up there they like to hide in that 10 to twelve thousand feet range Visitor Center was nice, walked around that a little. Alpine Visitor Center was cool. It had some like, you know, displays and different things and then it got a restaurant. So then we go up to the summit and it is like you get winded so easy we took several it's just a paved like gentle stairs and you really do have to like stop and have some breaths and uh especially the kids had some melting down a little bit we made it rest a little while halfway up yeah, taking the views then we made it to the top and it was very cool very cool okay. yeah so we're up at the top and then we're leaving and I'm like you know we're at 12,000 plus feet 12,005 feet been a little while since I did a little open-air preaching. Now, being a missionary evangelist, this is what I do. I've been open-air preaching for 15, 20 years. I started downtown Springfield at the bus stops, okay? Uh, and I can and I could preach the gospel in two or three minutes. So I figured I'm gonna let it rip. Son, here's my phone. Take a video. We'll drop a clip in. But now he commands all men everywhere to repent, to trust in Christ. It's, it's like we're all on a plane. It's like the plane is going to crash. It's appointed unto man once to die. Three years ago, I died running a half marathon and I wasn't ready to meet him. If you want to see the full video, I did make one on my other YouTube channel. I've only got like, I don't know, 10, 20 we'll, subscribers. We'll put a link in it. Yeah, Burning Hearts uh, Ministries and Missions. But anyway, so I preached the gospel about halfway or 75% way through, I realized that I was preaching to mostly Christian. And so they all cheered and, you know, were like, awesome, that was great. And uh, after I after I finished praying. But there was a good 10 or 20 uh, people that didn't know Jesus. So I just laid it out there, pure and simple. God is real. There's one God. He made everything. He loves you. He died for our sins. And turn to him, trust in him. The Holy Spirit is real. He's drawing people to God, convicting the world of sin because they don't believe in Christ. And so God now commands all people everywhere to repent and to trust in Him. So if you don't know, you need to know, comment on my YouTube page or on this one. It's fine uh, because we're not ashamed. Hey, we're not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. That's why I'm talking about it on our channel. So it was great. Nathaniel took a little video and then we caught up to the group uh, down the hill. We went inside and did some shopping. Yes, yes we did. 
She found that hat? Found a hat. Yes, it's a kid's hat. Yes, it's plenty big on me. <laughs> and Nathaniel found him a nice Rocky Mountain National Park walking stick. Yes. Yeah, that's cool. So he was loving that. Got and... a few other things, coasters and whatnot. Um, this whole trip, kind of in the back of our mind, is like, we want to try a bison burger. We want to like try some different things. And it just kind of didn't work out of several places for one reason or another. So... This place, they have like a little cafe there. So we were like, yes, we are trying something. Okay, everyone listen up. This one is a bison sausage. It is plain and not spicy. This one is elk and it does have cheese and jalapenos. So you guys are welcome to try whatever you want to try. The elk sausage was a little spicy, wasn't it? It was pretty good. It they were good, both really good. So the bison was they were both really good. The bison brought was a little more like hot doggy, plain, like the kids probably like that one better. And then the elk sausage had a little mm. flavor. It had some jalapeno. Mm -hmm. We put some more on top. Oh man. They were really good. I almost good. went back for two more. <laughs> they were really good. Uh, we also did have a lot of food with us and we had lunch like in the car ready to go. So we just kind of took a sampling. We also weren't sure. We were like, I was like, if we buy everybody their own like weird food to try. We might have a lot of leftovers if it doesn't go well. So we just shared some sampling. Hey, we're back again. We're back. You didn't know we went anywhere. We had technical difficulties. Here we are. So we, uh, we ate a picnic lunch from our cooler that we had in the back of the truck because it's bear country and we brought our food with us everywhere we went because we didn't have a bear box. But that food at the Alpine Visitor Center was delicious. Yes. Yum, yum. So get you a spicy elk sausage or buffalo sausage if you go up that way. Okay, so it's time to go back down the mountain. Heading back down. Gonna stop at a few overlooks, look at some animals, and go for a hike or two maybe. Uh, we pulled off uh, and went for a longer hike. So Rachel stayed back with the little ones, and me and Garrett and Nathaniel went up. And we had a great time, but it took a little longer than I thought it would, a little, little over an hour. Hiking up to the Rocky Mountain National Forest here up in the frozen tundra. Arctic Point. It's a different overlook here. I'm gonna get up here in a little bit and show it to you. you guys getting tired yet? Got about a half a mile so far. Felt like really long when you're just waiting in the car with a couple smaller children. I was trying to hurry them along, but then, you know, once you get up there, you kind of want to soak it all up. So anyways, made it back down, had a couple of good conversations with some people up there, uh, four different people about the Lord. So uh, when I was running down, two Asian guys stopped me and they were there on a business trip and they just started asking me questions. And I said, boy, this looks like an open door. Just talked to him about God, and one was a Catholic, and one was a uh, unbeliever, and and the other guy didn't even know his friend was a Catholic. So it was great to witness to both of them. And off we went back down the mountain, and it's a little scary because uh, there's a couple spots where it's like drop off, drop, drop off, off, no guardrails either side, and it's a little spooky. So we're going down the mountain, we're checking the weather, and it looks like it's going to rain. We really wanted to make it to Bear Lake. So we went anyway. And the kids, we had them put on swim trunks. We did not know that you're not allowed to swim in Bear Lake, so oops. But we went ahead, we made it all the way around the lake slash large pond. It yep. was beautiful. It was a small lake. I'm sure it was deep. But Probably. It was only like a quarter mile walk around, and there's like three, four, five of the trails. Nathaniel yes. wanted to hike up to the top of the mountain, which was like four miles there and back, which would have took all day. And it was going to be dark in a few hours. So, Yeah, so the weather did not permit very much hiking for us. But if you go and you get better weather than we did, I totally recommend this area. I think there's at least three little lakes. There's like a cluster. We'll drop it in on the screen there. And there's several hikes that you can do even with small children they're not that bad and mm -hmm. they're beautiful so definitely check that out yeah like a half half mile to a mile and a half so very doable in an yeah. hour or so a little rainy it was a little rainy a little cold a little, yeah it a little just... windy but that was fine you know we we were just wanting to go and see as much as we could because we only had one one full day right right 
So um, next we came back to the campsite. On the way back to the campsite, I believe is when we saw the moose. Yes, yes? we stopped at a waterfall first and just kind of saw a piece of it, and then just looked at the river and stuff. And but then yes, uh, spotted a moose right there on the side of the road, laying well, down off a little, laying bit. down off to the side, thirty yards, twenty five yards. So real close. She's just having a good time down there in a little wet marsh. Chewing the cud, having a good time, and everyone's just stopping, pulling over, and oohing and on over this cow moose. Yeah, so got back to the campsite, and the weather cleared up enough that we started a campfire. Oh, dinner was so good. So good. Delicious. We, when I stopped at Walmart the day before, one of the random purchases that I just saw and grabbed Thank were these you, Walmart. little kits for... Philly cheesesteaks. Philly cheesesteaks. It was like um, pre-shaved meat mm -mm. and they were frozen. So I just, we started a campfire, put on the cast iron, put a little bit of oil, not too much because beef has already got its own fat. Then I had two packages because there's six of us and we like to eat. Lots of juices. Yes. Uh, fried that puppy up over the campfire. It was so good. And then we had uh, a foil pack and, of veggies. And not only good, but it was easy. I mean, it, was, it was really easy. It was and like one of cheese. our easiest dinners we've ever made camping. Yeah, night, it's so. probably going to be on a repeat. That was if yeah. That We're coming good. back, Walmart. We we'll be that. coming back for that one. <laughs> that, that and your burgers. We're going to take them. Uh, the Aldi, Aldi burgers are good. They just right. we didn't have an Aldi. So good. We just chilled the rest of the evening. Had some s'mores. Started to pack up camp because. We're leaving in the morning, and we decided, like, so how long are we driving? I are we pulling overnight somewhere? I decided. He decided, yes, we can. Yes, we we'll, will. We'll try. Maybe. We'll, we'll, we'll give yeah. it a shot. We'll, give it a shot. We'll at least get up and make an attempt, and if we have to boondock somewhere or get a hotel, we can. Right. right. So, But we'll give ourselves the opportunity to not get home at, like, 1 or 2 in the morning. Yeah, so spoiler alert, yes, we did drive the whole way home, which is like, what, 15 hours? He mostly drive. I took a turn, one or two turns. Yep. I did at least three hours. She did something. I did something. I got a good nap in. Yes, you did. So, yeah, we can't. We uh, packed up camp the night before as much as possible because we got up at 3.30 a.m. He got up at 3.30 a.m., made coffee. All by myself. <laughs> he did. He absolutely did. Uh, put the kid, you know, go to the bathroom, get in the car, trying not to even wake them Made up. Made coffee first, though. Oh, yeah. Coffee first. Had to have coffee for the room. Um, packed her up, headed out, dumped the tank out of there. Up at 3.30 Gorgeous. and on the road by like 4.20. So It was awesome. We, it was 50 minutes and we dumped. So it was, it was, a, it was a good pack up. And it was a great day of travel. Um, we're not going to make another video about driving all day, so we'll yeah. just spare you that. But it was a great day. The kids actually slept in. How long was that day? 16 hours? It was like 15 hours of driving plus probably, what, two hours of stops? Yeah. Thank you for watching our epic adventure out west. This does conclude the epic adventure out west. It was awesome. All that we crammed into a little over two weeks. I wish we had more time, but I feel like with what we did, it was amazing. I don't know if it could hardly have been better. We loved our itinerary. Yes, we will have videos um, talking about each campsite and making recommendations because we've had some people asking, are you going to do a campsite review for this place? Yes, we will. Oh, yeah, so, that's what we do. Hold on. That's what we do. Yes. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please hit the like subscribe smash it smash it hit the bell whatever do the stuff thank you very much we love you and we'll be seeing you happy camping god bless you guys we'll see it out we'll see you out there